Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer save data for the VMU for the Sega Dreamcast in Redream on Android. A few people have asked me about this process and how to do it since Redream now works rather well with Nvidia Shield and on various mobile devices and tablets. To do this process we're going to need access to a PC and your Android device at the same time as this procedure is a little more complicated than what it would be if you were just doing this on a PC. To begin with, you're going to need to download Redream for your PC and VMU Explorer. I have two guides online already which show how to set these two up, and I'll leave these in the link in the description below. Once you've done that, the next step requires you then to search on the internet for any save files that you are after. So at this point, realistically think about what you're going to need save-wise, because what we're going to be doing is filling up four VMU cards with saved data. So look for Fighting Vipers 2, Jet Set Radio, Virtual Fighter 3, Shimu, basically any saves that you're wanting, look for them now, download them, and put them to one side in another folder. Once you have all the saves that you're after, use VMU Explorer to essentially fill up all the VMU memory cards. With that done, the memory cards on your PC version of Redream should now all be full with all the saves that you've downloaded and imported. It's at this point that the Android portion comes into play. Now I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded and installed Redream for the Android version. And this is where we will now have two options to choose from. The first option is if you're using a mobile device or a Nvidia Shield, then connect it up with your PC, and then once your PC can see these devices, you're going to navigate through these files and folders, and find out where Redream is on the Android device itself. Once in there, you should see four VMU save files installed by the Android version of Redream. What we need to do now is fairly simple. We simply select the four VMU files from the PC version of Redream that we installed earlier, and then we're going to select those, and then we're simply just going to drag them over onto the Android version. At this point, you'll be asked if you want to replace these four files, select yes, and replace the four. And that's pretty much it. Your saves are now transferred over into the Android version of Redream. The other step that you can do would require you to drag all the four files onto a memory stick, then connect that to your Android device, and then manually mess around searching the card, copying the files, and then searching for the four VMU files on the Android device itself, and then copying over and replacing them. This process is a little more time consuming, but it does work all the same. So there you go guys, that's basically how you transfer VMU save data onto Redream on Android. I hope this helps anyone out there who was having any difficulties with the Android version. If you do have any difficulties and run into a few problems, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you. That's it for this video guys, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.